Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel and in today's video I am going to show you how you can convert any of the website in, into an Android app. So like you can see that I have uh, load a complete Google inside my Android application and I can browse internet browsing inside my Android application and I can open any of the website like this is the first website you can see I can open this inside my Android app. So guys video is going to more important and uh, before start please I request you to subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, share this video with your those friends who want to learn Android apps development. So let's get started. First of all open your Android studio and create a new project. Click on new project, select empty activity and press on next button. Here we have to give our application name like I'm going to give web view. Select Java programming language and click on finish button. Android studio will automatically create a new project for you. Now we have to open our main activity front end file and uh, inside our coding part first of all remove this text view and uh, we have to type here web view. Web view width would be match parent and height would be match parent and uh, I'm going to give an ID like WB view. We have to close this from forward slash now we have to initialize our web view inside our main activity open your main activity type here web view web view semicolon and inside your own create method you have to type web view is equal to typecast by using web view find view by id r dot id dot w b view semicolon so you can see that we have initialized our object next by using this object we have to type our url by using load url method double quotation http double quotation forward slash www.google.com so this code is not enough because when we will run this app by using this code it will take us to a browser but we want to open our Google website inside our Android app. To open your website inside your Android app, you have to type here webview dot set webview client new webview client. That's it. To run this app, you will need internet permission. To get internet permission from the user, open your manifest file, double click on it, and at this position, you have to type use this permission android colon name is equal to internet and plus press forward slash okay guys our sum of code have been completed now let me just run the app so i can show you the output guys you can see that our app have been run successfully but it is showing me web page not available you just have to do one thing you have to type here https not http and uh, run your app again so you can see that our app have been run, run successfully and our google home page have been loaded in our uh, internet so i can search here anything like uh, chicken and uh, press enter button so guys you can see that it is working perfectly and uh, now when we will click on the back button it will close our app we have to solve this to solve this we have to go to our on create method and we have to press control O button and here we have to search for on back pressed here you can see that this method double click on it and you can see that our back press method have been implemented we have to type here if web view dot can go back curly braces web view dot go back and else super dot on back pressed means close our application completely if you want to enable javascript inside your this app you have to inside your own create method you have to create an instance of web setting web setting is equal to web view dot get settings semicolon and here you have to type web settings dot javascript enabled get javascript enabled this method semicolon guys our cope code have been completed now just let me run the app so i can show you the output guys here you can see that our app have been run successfully and uh, here i can search anything like uh, find gap press enter button and here you can see that this is our facebook page so guys i hope and uh, when i will open this link it will open our facebook page and when i will hit back press button it will not close our app it will get back and uh, again get back and now when we, i will press on back button it will close our app so guys i hope that you will must like this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos thanks for watching